Let's do this! Growing stronger. I can feel it. I've changed. So, regardez encore une fois, les gars. C'était un putain de mission. Euh, J'aurais bien voulu me battre contre euh, le fou furieux euh, avec cette putain de, euh, de hachoir parce que c'était le même d'épée. This is for the queen. vraiment éclaté par euh... Makina ah. Rem, are you okay? Y yeah. Just a little shaken up, that's all. Uh, I see. Glad to hear that. So, where are we then? Se battre, euh, dans leurs oh, you're awake. What happened? Wait, please listen. It wasn't us. It's true. Please listen to us. <laughs> you mustn't. <laughs> Quite bold you are. Now unto me, your innocence you must prove. Deuce was pretty amazing back there. Yeah, no kidding. She's the type you really don't want to get mad. Oh, um, no. I was just desperate, that's all. At any rate, She believed what Deuce said. Yeah, she was like, the dragons say they believe you. That's right. I recall that she seemed most intrigued by the encounter we had with one of the Concordian King's men during our escape. Essentially, unlike the Divine Queens, the Kings of Concordia All are... All right, save it for another time. And so, she helped us with our escape. 
<sighs> Though we're still in Militesi territory. <clears throat> hey, what's wrong? You injured or something, huh? Get it together, will ya? Stop that! Don't talk down to me like that. You wanna say that again? Hey you! What's with your attitude? Who do you think carried you all this way, huh? <laughs> so you'll save me for some reason. But you kill my brother? <laughs> your brother? Makino, what are you saying? My older brother was killed by Class Zero. If it weren't for you people, he wouldn't have had to run all over the battlefield. There was no reason for him to die. You mean... during the Liberation Campaign? Maybe he was just a nameless soldier to you. But to me... To me he was... You're wrong. We were just following orders. No. If you want to think that, then go ahead. But, no matter how much you blame us, it won't bring your brother Azana back. What? How do you know my brother's name? <laughs> That's quite enough. Makina, I know you are distressed. But we have larger issues at stake right now. Larger issues? We can't contact the Dominion. They won't answer, no matter how many times we try. What? But if the Chancellor and the Commander are okay, they should have reached Rubrum long ago, right? Now do you understand? Not one of us has time to agonize over the past at this moment. Memories of the dead are the shackles of the past. We must forget in order to break free, to move forward. Shut up! That's the excuse you used to sacrifice my brother! You gotta calm down, Makina. You're like a spoiled child. If you want to play the tragic hero, then stay here and put on a one-man show. What the hell do you know? M Makina, please stop it. Let's get some rest. Damn it! <laughs> Makina, where are you going? I'm just gonna go take a look around for a bit. They can't save everybody, you know, no matter how strong they are. I'll save you, though, Rem. I won't sacrifice you. For any reason. Makina... I'll be back soon. Feeling good? You sure cough a lot sometimes, Remsky. Are you okay? What? Oh, I'm fine. It's just a minor case of asthma. Asthma? Can you still go on missions? Dr. Aratia has given me her permission. Oh. If you're seeing Mother, then you'll be fine. Yeah. I agree. And how are you, Sink? I'm always fine. Right now, I'm feeling even better than usual. Right? Huh? Yeah, for sure. If the Empire shows up right now, we could own them. All of you are so strong you are. I suppose I ought to work a tad harder if I'm going to keep up now. Aw, you can worry about that when we get back. No need to rush. The comm appears to be working fine. Ramsky seems to be able to use magic. So our crystal must be doing all right. Maybe it's like a jammer. 
What do you mean? I can't say for sure, but I get the feeling something is interfering with our communications. But what could it be? Dunno. Oh, yeah. So, Trey, do you ever feel like you've done something before when you know you haven't? You mean deja vu? It's been happening to me a lot lately. I can't say I've never experienced it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I don't think I've felt it as strongly as you. Well, essentially, frequent deja vu can be... Sice and I will keep watch. He didn't have to get so angry. What was that? She probably feels that her words are what set him off. Hmm? Oh, is that what that's about? <laughs> no need for her to feel guilty. If she hadn't said it, I would have. <laughs> Indeed. But when did he learn about his brother? It didn't seem as if he had known from the beginning. It must have been in Militas. I saw him. He was talking to the Commandant. What? That Baldy? What'd he want? <laughs> Machina got suckered just like that. It's more than that. He feels stuck. Nothing's working out for him. <laughs> Damn! That idiot sure thinks way too hard. You don't think enough, Nine. You kidding me? I'm a think tank, yo! What does that even mean? Uh, never mind. King, Sice, it's our shift. You two get some rest. Roger that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. So, Machina's still not back yet? Maybe the Imperial forces got him. If they found him, they would have come here by now. Well, either way, if he takes any longer, we'll have to leave him behind. so worried. Are you hurt? Uh, no. Sorry I wasn't back sooner. What happened out there? The... The White Tiger. White Tiger? You mean, the enemy? Oh, uh, I have news! The enemy? No! What? Oh, Machina! I'm glad you made it back! Ah! Be glad later! Is it the enemy? Uh, 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 no. The comm is responding. I've reached the Dominion. Goodbye. Okay. Crater de l'Orica. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? Goodbye. Putain, ça c'est l'Empire. Ah. Oh putain Putain, 
putain J'ai pas pu l'absorber. Et merde, encore un autre bug. Non, mais on va se fier. Glaciamans 842RG. Andoria, Queen of Concordia, was assassinated in the Militesi capital city amidst peace talks. In regards to this tragic event, the kingdom prepared a statement for all of Orient to hear, which claimed that Rubrum's Agito cadets were involved and publicly condemned them. In the same month, Concordia's provisional government formed an alliance with Milites. Behind a pretext of protection, the Azure Dragon Crystal was placed under the Empire's supervision. The Empire was now in possession of the crystals from three of the four crystal states. Now, Militess and Concordia made preparations to simultaneously invade Rubrum as allies. Ah, oh, mon dieu, ça va être chiant. The first battle of Judeca. They accuse us of sending assassins after Queen Andoria and Imperial Marshal Sid because they believe we are unhappy with the terms of the truce. When such wild accusations are made and accepted, it does not say much about the laws of Orients. How could this have come to pass? Wasn't there anything we could have done? The question is, what was Class Zero doing during all of this? They are the ones being accused, are they not? Yes! Where is Class Zero now? If they had but testified before our tribunal, this would not be happening! They have been reported missing inside Militess, but I hear they are back in Rubrum now. 
Yes, they're back. Reporting back, sir. Submit your mission report. The Consortium may choose to open an inquiry. You mean... that's all you have to say? After everything we've just been through? Just tell us. Why didn't you answer our transmissions? We didn't receive any. Our communications couldn't reach you either. What a load of crap, yo! You saying that all of our comms just died all at once, huh? The Inquiry Board believes you may have intentionally cut off communications. What?! Welcome back. You are free to rest until further notice. Let's go. They certainly made the situation worse for us. That's for sure. Without a doubt, Class Zero is to be held accountable for this turn of events. Still, if we're to regret our failures... Ridiculous. Ridiculous?! Might I remind you? Those cadets are your... Uh... Oh. That's enough talk. About Class Zero. Everyone... We must focus on addressing the looming crisis that is unfolding before us. <coughs> True. The Militus Concordia Coalition Force is preparing to invade our territory, even as we speak. If we don't take the appropriate measures... We shall utilize the Verboten Eidolon. Ver <coughs> what? But the Verboten Eidolons have not been allowed for use ever since the Great War. You, more than anyone, must know why they were banned, Chancellor. To begin with, sir, I don't mean to offend you, but there is not a single person alive who is capable of controlling Verboten Eidolons. The decision was made by Lady Setsna. The Lassie Setsna? She's going to help us? Can we assume, then, that Lady Setsna believes there to be a genuine threat to the Vermilion Bird territories? Well, if that is the case, there is nothing more for us to debate. Is that correct? This is truly ridiculous. Time really flies. It's... Hmm? Mother? Check up time. We can start with you. So come to sorcery right now. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you made it back from Militus. Were you worried? No, I wasn't worried. I had faith that you kids would be all right. Mother... Um... Uh, am I... Okay? Something wrong? It's just... I've been having a lot of deja vu lately. And then Trey... Sort of scared me. Really? Oh. I have to go. Mother, could we talk later about my deja vu? You're in perfect health. Both body and mind. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, thanks.
Ah, c'est compliqué, c'est compliqué. C'est vrai, elle a été tuée. Oui, mais fait penser un petit peu à Sarada. Peut-être le fait qu'elle porte aussi des lunettes et qu'elle est aussi brune, je sais pas. Mais elle a l'air un petit peu genre euh, pragmatique. Mais d'un autre côté, je pense qu'on n'aura jamais dû parler comme ça à, à Makida. Machida, je crois, il s'appelle comme ça. En fait, il est juste en colère et euh, il a besoin de réponses. Sinon, il ne pourra jamais être en paix, en fait. Il veut savoir pourquoi on a sacrifié ce, son frère. Moi, je sais pas, moi, les gars.
Attends, j'ai à quel niveau 34. Despite what Dr. Aracia says, I cannot dismiss Class Zero's actions. We are in this predicament because of them. And as Class Zero's commanding officer, don't think you're off the hook either. Of course not. I accept full responsibility for their conduct. Although having left the front line some time ago, I take it one of the four champions of Rubrum can still fight. You will take part in the next mission, and once again bring glory. If you are able to lead our forces to victory, then I will pardon Class Zero for their recent transgressions. You are too kind, Commandant. I will do all in my power to live up to your expectations. Mais j'y pense, il était là aussi. Euh... What can a walking corpse like him do? You know, sometimes you can be quite cruel. We all know that the Ice Reaper is a broken vessel. The best Krasame can do is pass on his knowledge. Sending him onto the battlefield would merely add to the list of casualties. I'll have him provide support for the Lucy. Besides, I'm more concerned with what happens after the battle. It's about high time that we showed Dr. Aratia her proper place. So you would have Class Zero and Crossame die in battle just in order to oust Dr. Aratia? The end of Class Zero will be the end of that woman as well. We will surely suffer great casualties in the coming battle. And it is more than likely that we will lose. Then, it would only be prudent to rid ourselves of those who might get in the way. I will not allow that woman to control the consortium after the war. All I ask is that you not involve the Chancellor and I in your schemes. Can I help you? Don't overdo it. Good work. Je veux savoir qui a tué la reine. Vous savez quoi euh, Je crois qu'on va s'arrêter là du coup. Et on prendra la suite euh, bah, demain du coup. Euh... J'ai bien fait de tous les farmer. Euh, Makina. On verra ça dès demain, je pense. Ah, je suis un petit peu fatigué. J'ai envie d'aller dormir. Parce que euh, je suis un deux doigts de, de, de m'écrouler par terre. Allez, ciao tout le monde
Good work. At ease. We mustn't falter. I'm on fire now. Over! 
Okay, move out! We've suffered damage, but we'll have our chance. Right, let's make our next move. to battle stations! <laughs> That's the way. Keep attacking. Just like that. Attack! All troops to battle stations! <sighs> we took them too lightly. We can't let them do any more damage! We failed. Goodbye. Right, let's make our next move.
Let's have some fun! I will not let you go any farther! Attention all troops! Avenge your fallen comrades! Eradicate the Dominion Army! You'll be entertaining me for now. Time to attack! Tighten up the defenses! You must! You'll be entertaining me for now. We're under attack! Tighten up the defenses! No! How's this? All right, move out. How's this? Entertaining me for now. Under attack! Guard the base! <laughs> All right, my luck. Move out. Ball. Okay, move out. Troops to battle stations! This is going better than expected. Crystal guide you.
Class Zero, beginning mission. Pick 
keep shooting. Unit two, back them up. Unit three to five. Flank the enemy. Confuse them. Kill the kill. Do not allow them to fight another help. day. failed Goodbye. good this is going better than expected Goodbye. crystal guide you Just anyone can make it this far. Hey! 
It's not just anyone who can make it this far. It's not just anyone who can make it this far. It's not just anyone that could make it this far. It's not Enemy just attack. anyone that can All make it this far. Stations. All right, move out. Enemy attack! All troops to battle stations. They failed. Good, you're doing great. Keep it up. It's not just anyone that could make it this far. Just All anyone troops to battle stations! Took them too lightly. You'll be done in a snap! We can't let them do any more damage! We failed. Good. This is going better than expected. Crystal guide you. It's not just anyone that could make it this far. Yeah, what? 
Class Zero, beginning mission. <laughs> 